You're joining us now inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. The crew uh, getting ready to do uh, their final farewells. Rick Mastracchio, Koichi Wakata, and Mikhail Turin getting ready to load into that Soyuz, wrapping up 188 days in space. Uh, among the three, uh, a lot of veteran experience, uh, each uh, already having multiple space flights on their resume. Rick Mastracchio will now have a total uh, time in space accumulated of 228 days spread across four space flights. Uh, being a uh, vet veteran shuttle uh, flyer on three sh previous shuttle missions. Uh, and then Koichi Wakata will uh, now have a grand total of 348 days in space spread across four flights. He became the first commander of the International Space Station uh, during Expedition 39. Mikhail Turin, uh, the most veteran amongst the crew, will now have a grand total of 532 days spent in space across three space flights, now finding himself at 13th on the all-time endurance list. The three have been on board the International Space Station since launching and docking back in November of 2013. Uh, their leaving today will uh, wrap up 188 days spent in space and on board the International Space Station. The three giving a uh, total distance traveled of over 79 million statute miles, uh, done over, th over 3,000 orbits of the Earth while on board the orbiting laboratory. The three will climb into their Soyuz descent module, uh, which is one of three pieces that uh, the Soyuz craft is comprised of. It's a fairly tight fit. Uh, as you can see, uh, very stringent um, height requirements for these astronauts that they'll be packed in over the next few hours for their ride home. Again, this is just uh, one of three pieces of that Soyuz craft and will be the only part that actually survives the re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, uh, containing the craft's heat shield, which protects them from the intense heat uh, of re-entry. And there we go, getting a view as Rick Mastracchio moves in uh, to the Soyuz craft where he'll be uh, getting the ride down tonight, giving a final farewell. Again, uh, Rick Mastracchio, the NASA astronaut, part of the uh, departing crew. Here you see Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. Again, uh, those two and uh, Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin uh, sp have spent 188 days in space uh, since arriving back in November of 2013. Three getting ready to load into that Soyuz craft and then close the hatch between it and the International Space Station. Following that, they'll be uh, getting into their Sokol launch and entry suits and then strapping in for the ride down uh, with their planned landing tonight at 8.58 p.m. Central. Here now, Mikhail Turin, who will be the commander of the Soyuz craft uh, during its operations this evening, uh, getting ready to load in as well. Turin again, 13th now on the all-time endurance list with over five, with 532 days spent in space, uh, spread across three different space flights. So Turin now moving the hatch into position. He'll be responsible for closing the hatch in the side of the Soyuz craft. And then uh, one of the two cosmonauts, either Alexander Skortsov or Oleg Artemyev, will uh, do all of the closing and uh, latching on the station side. Following this hatch closing, they'll be doing a uh, number of leak checks to verify the vehicle's in a good config. But there we have uh, the hatch getting closed. Closed on the Soyuz side at 2.25 p.m. Central Time. And just there, Alexander Skortsov working to uh, close the hatch on the station side. The unofficial hatch closure time right now, 2.26 p.m. Central. 
three uh, returning astronauts, Rick Mastracchio, Koichi Wakata, and Mikhail Turin now inside of their Soyuz uh, TMA 11M vehicle uh, getting ready uh, to depart the International Space Station just a few hours from now and return home. Uh, the next uh, major milestones uh, for tonight will be the uh, physical undocking of the uh, Soyuz craft from the International Space Station. We'll come on with undocking coverage at 5.15 p.m. Central, 6.15 p.m. Eastern. Then our final broadcast for the night will be for uh, the deorbit burn and landing coverage. Uh, we'll come on the air at uh, 7.45 p.m. Central Time with the deorbit burn scheduled at 8.04 p.m. And the final landing in Jizkazgan in Kazakhstan scheduled to come at 8.58 p.m. Central Time, bringing a wrap to 188 days in space for the departing trio of Expedition 39.